I'm Amy Whittemore. I'm Donna Magliacano. I'm Tom Womack. And, and we are the, the 2020 Laureates of the City of Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro. I'm the Poet Laureate. I moved to Murfreesboro in 2016 and teach at MTSU in the English department. When I'm not writing poems, I'm doing yoga and talking to my cat. Poetry is the way that I make sense of being a human in this complicated world, um, and also a way to give thanks for all of the, the beauty in this world as well. My first book came out in 2016. It's entitled Glass Harvest from Autumn House Press, and I've had poems and stories published in a variety of national literary magazines. I really like writing about the natural world. I wrote a lot about growing up in Illinois on a farm in my first book. I also am inspired um, by relationships, uh, family, friends, romantic partners, um, really everything is, is something that I write about. The reason that I wanted to be a laureate was to combine my love of poetry with my love of community service. Uh, I'm hoping that this gives me a chance to look at Murfreesboro as a source of inspiration as well as provide inspiration for others. Two of my interests as a Poet Laureate are to work with LGBTQ youth and lead some writing workshops for them in the community, uh, as well as to write and advocate on behalf of the environment. I'm very thankful for the opportunity to be this Poet Laureate and I look forward to the adventure ahead. So I am the Painter Laureate and I have been an artist in Murfreesboro for 14 years and a full-time artist for 12 years. I've been working in the Murfreesboro community for quite a while. My work has been seen in the art studio tour and on display at uh, different local businesses for years. My favorite painting style is probably impressionistic. I like to keep my painting strokes loose and that way I can allow for some interpretation by the viewer. I was excited about the Laureate program and it drew me to it because I imagined a platform that would allow me to reach out into my community further. In my time as a Laureate, my personal goals probably center around doing some work to um, assist some programs that I'm fond of. One of them in particular is the Isaiah 117 House Project. Um, looking for a chance to possibly do a fundraiser for them. In this coming year, all three of the laureates are going to be working on projects together and one of them hopefully will have to do with doing portraits and reaching out to the um, underserved and less privileged citizens in our community and giving them an opportunity to see themselves the way an artist might see them. I'm the Photographer Laureate this year for 2020 and looking forward to working with the art community here in Murfreesboro. I like the field of photography for a host of reasons, but probably the first calling was just the beautiful Tennessee countryside. I've always enjoyed um, our beautiful parks. Uh, I like to say there's uh, anywhere you go in Tennessee, you're going to find beautiful seasons and wildlife and, and old villages. and history and culture, and that was my first calling to the photography field. Probably my favorite, and <clears throat> there's a lot of categories on this list, but um, recently the 360 immersive video and using time-lapse photography, there's something dramatic about seeing stars move across the sky, about seeing clouds move, about setting up the farmer's market in this empty space in the middle of the town square and 30 minutes later it's just alive with life and color and activity. So I love to see things happen. What drew me to be a Laura, it would be almost a synchronicity of personalities. I met wonderful people in the art community, uh, people in government when I came to the Rotunda to um, simply pay my taxes and solve the sixth grade elementary class of fairies and dragons. Uh, that introduced me to Corey Wells and her poetry. So as I began to meet more people and appreciate that connective thread that pulsates the artistic community in Murfreesboro, I was drawn more to this program. 
In my time as a laureate, what I've been moved by the most is not only all these incredible opportunities, these events, these um, greenways and farmers markets and music on the square and the regularly updated art in the rotunda, but so many people are unaware of these, I, I will say treasures that the city and county provide to the people of this community. And whenever I reach out to people for a little help, as often as not, they're an artist. They have a story. So if I can make any mark, it will be raising the awareness for our community, uh, raising the interest level, and telling that story behind the story of the many, many people that make this possible for us. For more information about cultural arts, visit the city's website or follow them on social media.